So you've been looking at spur mounts and you don't know what height to get. And I, I get it. Uh, spur mounts, they make them anywhere from 1.1 inches high up to 1.5. Some even go a little bit higher. So, you know, which one do you use? Well, if you've got continuous pick rail on your rifle, which means you've got Picatinny rail from your receiver, uh, you know, out across the top of your forend, and you have a 56 millimeter objective, go with the 1.5 inch mount. Um, you can see we got a lens cap on this one, and we've still got some room to play even you know, if you put a 20 MOA bias in this scope, you're still going to have room for your lens cap. Uh, if you've got a 50 millimeter objective, you can go ahead and drop down to the 1.35 uh, inch mount. This is with continuous pick rail. So, you know, um, the ad advantageous, the pick rail, that if you're going to put a thermal or a night vision device in front of your scope, um, even if you have a 50 millimeter objective at that point, I would say go back to the 1.5 inch. And the reason why is because a lot of those devices are designed to be 1.5 inches above the pick rail. And so your scope will just match up with your, your thermal or your night vision a little bit better. Um, these mounts go as low as 1.1 inch. This is a 1.1 inch mount, 56 millimeter objective. You know, it's an AI receiver with their low Picatinny base, which is a pretty common setup with pretty much any custom rifle. Um, you see we got plenty of room down here for the scope cap. Um, and so, you know, and it's a heavily contoured barrel. I think the only time you'd run into problems if you're running like a straight MTU or straight contour. And even then, it's just going to get close. Uh, with the 1.1 inch mount, what you need to remember, though, is that they only work with Night Force and Bushnell scopes. And the reason why is the turret housing on Night Force and Bushnell is pretty compact. Other manufacturers are a little bit bigger and they won't clear uh, the bottom of the mount where it, it, there's just not enough space. Um, so if you've got a scope other than Night Force or Bushnell and you want to mount it as low as possible, you got to use the 1.18 inch mount. Also, I like to encourage folks to ask themselves, you know, like why, why do we have to mount the objective bell as close to the barrel as possible? And the reason why is if you don't have an adjustable comb, then I agree 100%. You want that barrel down close so that your head can stay firmly on the comb of the stock and you can maintain a full field of view uh, through the scope even as the rifle recoils. However, if you have an adjustable comb, it doesn't really matter how high your scope's mounted. Now, you don't want to mount anything ridiculous, but I'll always favor a little bit high, especially if I'm going to put a bias in the mount and I want to scope, no, I want my scope caps to clear because I can just run my adjustable comb up a little bit higher and, uh, and everything, I know everything's gonna work. So what happens if you've got, you know, the 1.18 inch mount or the 1.1 inch mount and a 42 millimeter objective, will it clear on a continuous pick rail? Yes. However, um, just because you can doesn't mean you should. And here's why. It puts the scope so low that a lot of chassis that are designed to work with continuous pick rail, you can't get the comb low enough to get a full field of view through the scope. And that's, that's gonna be a problem. So anyway, I hope this helps. I'd like to thank uh, Mile High Shooting Accessories for sponsoring this video. And uh, if you'd like to see more about spur mounts or you know the wide variety of mounts that are available, you can go to www.milehighshooting.com.